85 to 80. OCU gets a win over Ottawa here at Ambleman Arena. Here with Mark Barakoff and uh, Coach, you guys went down six points, 77 to 71, with about two and a half minutes to play. It felt like that could have been a dagger, but then Avery Jackson happened. <laughs> I mean, you know, people don't realize Avery's was going into the season. Avery's 500 away from being the all-time leading scorer here. And with the, the history of this program, that says a lot. And I think by all thoughts, Avery didn't have a great season last year. And I think that's maybe coming from him. And tonight he showed what he's been capable of. He's worked extremely hard in the summer and in, in the fall workouts and our practices. And he showed up like a big-time player should. I mean, he's going to be – one of the best ever to play here. And that says a lot with the line, the history of this program. So, yeah, and, you know, back to what you were saying, we got down six and this team just doesn't quit. And, and, and that's what we did towards the end of the season. And uh, for a first game and not to quit was very exciting to see. Let's get the negative out of the way first. Obviously too many turnovers today. What yeah. has to happen to make that better? <laughs> We've just got to play better and protect the ball. I, I think we played too fast. We've been trying to play fast, but we got over, we got sped up by by them, um, and then just careless one-handed passes, which we we chart and we talk about, and it's first game jitters. Maybe we're still a young team. I mean, you're still starting with sophomores out there, and but you know what? The positive is on the first day of home of Abe Lemons, and and we got to win. Good start for YG today as well, specifically scoring the basketball. He made a couple of threes. That really wasn't part of his game last year. Only made 10 or 12 threes last year, but he's looking co more confident shooting from the perimeter in addition to the other things that he does so well. So I'll tell you, and I'll just single these guys out, that these guys are in the gym all the time. But YG and Bo Tranter are in here all the time together, all the time. And it's showing right now. And, and YG was known as a kid that can knock down shots coming from high school. He just didn't do it last year. So we're seeing that. And then Bo hit a big three tonight. And that's that's because the work is paying off. These guys, the whole group, pay, it works their tails off. So Huge rebound advantage for you guys today. Uh, and a couple of key ones there at the end. James Cloud got one. Brandon Wilson got one. Uh, so that, you probably knew coming in that that was going to be a place you had to win, but really went out and dominated the glass today. In the right times. There were times yeah. we gave up some offensive rebounds in some moments where like they, they, they got a three out of it. But, yes, we are talking about it. And K.J. Johnson, who's doing our defense, has done a great job. He's really got them motivated to play defense. And blocking out is one of the things we work on a lot. So a, a lot of credit goes to K.J. James Cloud with a couple of key plays. He made some free throws there at the end and got the defensive stop and a rebound on the other end, just kind of doing the little things today. You know, James is a, was a freshman. As a freshman last year, he, he bided his time. He sat there, and he was positive, and he worked and worked. And he's, he's seeing that pay off now. He, he's playing, I, what did he play, 35 minutes tonight? He's a super high-level athletic kid. He can knock down shots. He's, he's aggressive to the rim. And to see him tonight to be able to do what he did was exciting. Brandon Wilson, uh, Foul trouble in the first half, didn't play a whole lot, but in six minutes he had three rebounds. And he comes in and he really finishes the game strong. Not a huge scoring day for him. Knocked down a big shot, a three in the corner, but uh, what do you get from him with this team that you need from him? He's an older guy as a junior. Uh, he's played a lot of good junior college basketball. He had that first game, I can't believe, you know, I'm starting, and he got a little ahead of himself. He had that wide open layup that I think if he could go back, you know, he's probably dunking that, but it's the first game. What he gives us, he gives us leadership. He gives us strength. He can knock down a three. He can get into the pain and score. Um, I look for big things from Brandon. I, one game, it's just one game for him. He's going he's gonna to really excite this uh, Oklahoma City crowd. How do you find rest for the team and for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, most people know I'm a diehard Dodger, so I was up late last <laughs> night celebrating the Dodger as a Los Angeles. I'm from L.A., but it, it's tough running a classic. I mean, I was here at 8 a.m., and... You know, everybody needs help doing something, and we've got such great help with our administration. But I don't know because we got Oklahoma Wesleyan tomorrow, like one of the best teams in the country. I mean, one of the—I mean, they, they're coming in here, and we've played, and they—you know—I I don't know. I, we're, we're a young team; they're not going to be tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do. You turn around and play one more tomorrow. I, I, I can't imagine there's a lot of scout going on in an event like this. But what do you expect to see tomorrow night? Coach White is like the, 
one of the best scout guys in the country. Right? He's so good at it. He's been able to watch them. So, I mean, he's ready for the scout. It, it's a quick thing. It's like you just got to turn around in the morning or shoot around and this is what we're going to do and then hope the kids execute it. That's, this group really likes to watch film and look at the scouts. So I don't have to worry about that with them. All right, well, good win today to start things off, 85 to 80. OCU gets the win over Ottawa. We appreciate you joining us today here from the Abe Lemons Classic, and we'll be back tomorrow with a 1 o'clock start from Abe Lemons Arena.